How's the uh, how's the reception of season two? It seems good so far. The, the ratings have been really encouraging, and uh, you know the, um, the stuff I've read online seems mostly mostly positive. It's interesting. There it's, there seem to be a great number of critics who or people who write on you know the internet who really like it. And there seems to be fewer people who really hate it and just say, oh, it's stupid. And then there's this group in the middle that doesn't, they, they won't say that they like it, but they won't say that it's not good either. They just Undecided. don't, well, I don't think they know what to make of it. They, yeah. they seem like, they seem like, well, it's, it's not terrible, but I, it, I wish it was more this, or I wish it was, but it's not bad, you know. And it, You're still evaluating. Yeah, I guess, I'm still evaluating or just not sure, you know, just, just, uh, just not sure. Like, there was a really interesting one in the Huffington Post by this woman who said, it's not for me. I didn't like it, but it's good. And he's like, you know, I'll take that. I guess. Maybe it's because you guys push the envelope so much in terms of, I don't know, the, the swearing and, and sometimes where the jokes go, blueness. Maybe some. That's why some people are kind of laughing, but they don't want to admit that they're laughing. Does that make any sense? I don't know. You know, I mean, I don't. I really don't think we're that much racier than, say, Family Guy or... Really? I think I think the, the thing that is a little off-putting about this show to some people, I mean, some people just look at it and they, you know, they go, oh, there's, you know, a British guy in a bunny suit with Frodo, you know, they just, they just can't look at it any deeper than it's a guy in a dog suit. And then I think the mix of, I think some people, they tune into a half hour and they just expect it's going to be hilariously funny all the time. And our show isn't hilariously funny all the time, so I, I don't think you know they know what to make of it. The, I, think it I think it's just it's unusual, and I, I think that might be the thing that is off-putting. Is it's just unusual. It's a but weird that's show. What makes it good too. Well, to some people, that's that's the draw. You know, that's what makes it interesting. But to some people, I think it's just confusing. And it's also, you know, it's there are shows that you can watch where you can just enjoy them and they aren't particularly demanding mm -hmm. of the audience. And, not, and not, that's not, there's nothing wrong with that. That's Family Guy, that's Big Bang Theory, that's those shows. And there are shows where you have to pay attention, like Community and 30 Rock, where they go very fast. And, you have, and then there are shows like our show and some dramas where you, and Polly Louie is in this category, where you have to watch it and you have to think about it. And um, some people just don't want to do that when they watch TV. That's, I get that. There are times when I don't want to do that either. It seems there's a lot more upbeatness in season two, even though there's kind of a dour, dark type of theme going, running through right now. Let's jump back a little prequel. How, how was it in season one, one for you? How, how was the feeling on the set with the actors and whatnot? Compared to, compared to now. I think, I think this season, um, this season I think was a little easier because we all were sort of knew a little bit more of what the show was and we'd been through, we, we shoot this in a very unusual way in that we, we shoot everything out of order, we have to have all the scripts written before the, the production even begins. And this year we actually shot the odd number shows first and the even number shows second with with scenes from each in both blocks. So That's more random thing. Yeah, Randall is amazing. He, he, the, the way he kept every he kept track of everything. Continuity wise, it was a very challenging show. I think if you are you talking tonally in terms of this show seems lighter this year. Um, well, it does, but there's dark elements in it too. Yeah, well, it, it go, it's going. It, 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 we take a real journey this year. They the end of the season gets quite weird, and there's um, there's a lot of moments of um, of uh, I would say psychodrama coming up. Um, we you know last, last season started a little lighter and got a little more complex and a little deeper as it went on, and I think we follow that same trajectory this year. Um, and we have you know we're building to another uh, surprise surprise at the end of the season. Although we, we're putting in many more clues this year than we did last year. Um, I haven't seen a lot of people picking up on them yet, but on repeated viewings, you'll probably see them. Do you guys know like the last the last very last episode of the show is going to be? Um, I, 
I mean, I know. We're gonna have to take a look. I know the basic mythology. I know. I know the basic resolution. I don't know how we're gonna get there exactly. I think that it would be. Um, it would be a bad idea to just say it's going to be this way because as we go along we find things that work better than others we find different things about the characters or different things about the actors that they bring to the characters so I wouldn't say that I have an exact map but we're not we're not flying blind at least I don't think we are the show is getting you know, deeper and darker. Is it ever hard for you to balance that darkness with the, the comedy that is so inherent to the show in keeping that um, good mix? Because I mean, it's not a, a, a pure drama and it's not a pure comedy. Um, but do you ever find yourself having to say, you know, oh wait, you know, we need to we need to even this out? Um, sometimes. I mean, we're, we're always mindful of the comedy. But when we're breaking the stories, this, my my main goal is to tell complex, interesting stories. And the humor, we've got a guy in a dog suit, and we've got two guys smoking pot. We're going to find funny. <laughs> There's going to be plenty of funny things. You know, we, we do spend a lot of time thinking about, you know, our dogisms, the dog-like behavior, how that translates to, you know, a human as a dog. But the, the, the main priority is telling interesting, complex, fresh stories that you haven't seen before. And, and the, the funny just seems to come, you know, as appropriate. I, I think that there are a lot of times when we have things that feel really, that are really, really funny, but they just don't feel right for the show. They feel a little too jokey or a little too comedy with a K, and those things tend to get cut along the way. In terms of like Ryan's uh, analyzing and his encounters, we've been able to experience those separately. Are we going to see some of those worlds like mix, like his family life with his work life, um, uh, Wilfred with his mother per se? So it, it's well, we will see the mother again this year. Um, in terms of mixing his work life, it does sort of it does sort of intersect. And, um, and, and sort of, I don't want to give too much away, but in an unexpected way, Ryan's father has a little something to do with what's going on this season, um, and that has an impact on his uh, on his work as well. I've said too much. <laughs> I need to collect all your. Reporters. <laughs> Are you going to be in the panel? Are you going to see the screening? No, but I have all the episodes there. Well, you couldn't have this one yet. We just finished it. Yeah. Um, the show that we're showing in the panel is um, it's the only episode where FX has said you cannot put this on the air. So we had to change the shot for what will air. But here at Comic Con, we uh, we have the the offending uh, shot in. Is Bear involved? Uh, Bear is not involved. But it's 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 shocking and it's really really fun and it's just a shame that we can't put it on the air, but it will be on the DVD. And, um, and you can still enjoy the episode, but it's it's sort of a pivotal moment in the episode. It's a really special episode we're, we're shooting. It's uh, episode number seven this season, so it'll be on in about four weeks. Uh, but it's really good. Yes? Thank you very much, you guys. See you later.